Hey guys, it's Ishani and happy Sephora VIB sale time to you. I try not to disappoint you guys and I try to do these videos every single year, twice a year, every time this Sephora sale comes around. I know so many of you guys enjoy seeing products that I recommend, products that I picked up, my tips for the sale. I gotta say, I don't think this haul is going to disappoint and I actually had some interesting revelations during the sale this year. I have a couple pro tips that I made use of during the sale this year that I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys. If you guys don't know, Sephora runs this sale twice a year, every year, once in the fall and once in the spring, where depending on your tier status at Sephora, you get a percentage off your entire order. I always say this is the best time to stock up on brands or items that almost never go on sale. To me, that includes fragrance, high-end luxury makeup, and your go-to skincare. I always try to stock up on my favorites during this sale, but I also go ahead and purchase some items that are maybe at a higher price tag that I've had my eye on and was just waiting for some type of percentage off to grab. So this year, I have a huge bag, but this actually contains one online order and two in-store pickup orders. That is gonna be my first tip for you guys. If you guys have a Sephora store near you, I would personally try to do the shop online and pick up in store option. This was the first time I ever did it for myself. And the reason I did it is because some of the items I wanted to purchase were out of stock online. However, when I checked my local store, it said it was in stock for pickup in my store. This way, I was able to just purchase online. Of course, I got my Beauty Insider points I even used my Ebates or Rakuten account. So I got cash back on my order and I was able to pick it up in store and get instant gratification, which sometimes during the Sephora sale time, they take absolutely forever to process your order, forever to ship your order. And right now there are just so many delayed deliveries within the delivery carriers system that I've noticed even packages that usually I would get within two to three days are sometimes taking like a week plus to get to me. I know there's just a whole backup with the logistical realm of getting packages. That's why people are even saying now to order way ahead of time for Christmas gifts. I can believe it because honestly, I didn't even want to order really anything online. There were two things that I did have to order online because they weren't in my store, but everything else I was able to buy online and pick up in store, which was super convenient. So I've had these items for a couple days now. I've played with some of them. I have thoughts on some of them. So let's jump right into the haul video. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with skincare items, then we'll get into the makeup. So the first thing I picked up is the Pharmacy Garden Party Green Clean Trio Set. This is a little set of three pretty generous deluxe sizes of the Pharmacy Green Clean in three brand new scents. Here's the size of each of the little green clean tubs. It's a pretty generous size. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. Like I said, you're getting three. The three scents you're getting are strawberry basil, lemon mint, and peach thyme. I went through and smelled all of these and I have to say they all smell delicious. However, the scents are very, very faint, which I personally prefer. This is a cleansing balm that you use to remove your makeup. You take a little bit of this, you rub it between your fingers, you let it kind of turn into an oil, and then you massage it all over your face with a full face of makeup, no water, no nothing, and this balm will literally melt the makeup off of you. Then you just go in with some water and it just rinses completely clean. It's the best makeup remover in my personal opinion. I've been begging Pharmacy to release new scents of this cleansing balm forever and I'm so happy they're finally doing it. I purchased two more of my go-to facial moisturizer. We are heading into the winter time and my skin, my lips, just <laughs> All the skin on my body is feeling it. I needed to make sure to stock up on my favorite face moisturizer because this is the only stuff that keeps my skin 
really hydrated, feeling smooth, looking clear. This is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro with cream moisturizer. This is what I'm talking about when I say if you have stupidly expensive skincare items that you just absolutely swear by, this is the time to stock up because that 20% off really, really comes in handy. This moisturizer is just, it's the best. It's hydrating. It is thick. I only use it at night. It's like my nighttime moisturizer, but for me, it almost acts as like an overnight face mask. I always wake up with my skin looking and feeling soft, supple, glowing. I love this stuff and I have loved it for many years now. Happy to have a couple more of these on hand. The other area of my face that really, really suffers with dry skin and chapness are my lips. So because of that, I went a little crazy on the lip balms this year. The first one, which will be no shock to you guys, I picked up the Laneige. These are the Midnight Minis little gift set. It comes with five different mini lip sleeping masks. If you guys are familiar with my channel or honestly just familiar with beauty YouTube in general, you've heard of these. This is one of Laneige's best selling items. This is their overnight lip treatment. It's very hydrating. It's very moisturizing. It actually also leaves a little bit of gloss on your lips. So you can use it during the day if you want as well. This little kit comes with five different scents. You've got gummy bear, the original sweet candy, lemon sorbet, and mint choco, all of which smell absolutely delicious. And most of which I've tried before in the full size. So I'm happy to have minis. These will come in super handy for traveling, especially if you're traveling to really cold climates in the winter time. Another overnight mask I really wanted to give a shot is this new Belief Aqua Balm Overnight Lip Mask. This item is brand new to the Belief skincare line. I was really shocked to see the size of this. This is a big guy. This almost looks like a facial moisturizer to me. I will say this seems like a no fuss overnight lip mask. There's really no scent to it. Yeah, I literally can't smell anything. So it's totally unscented. It seems clear. I haven't used it yet, but I'm very excited to give this a shot. I know a lot of people who love the Belief skincare line. I've tried some of their moisturizers before. I know the Aqua Balm and the, is it called the Moisture Balm or something? Those are two really, really popular facial moisturizers. They just didn't work for my skin, but I have higher hopes for a lip balm. I think I think this could be pretty good. The other lip balm set I got here, this is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm Trio. If you have been wanting to try the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, this is such a good value. You get three full-size tubes for, I wanna say this was like $48 or something without the discount. Here's what the little set looks like. In this set, you get the clear one, which they call vanilla. You get the kind of mid-tone neutral one, which they call vanilla beige. And then you get the limited edition, or at least the new and exclusive for this set one, which they call brown sugar, which looks like a beautiful mid-tone mauve. I absolutely love this lip balm. I have repurchased this original clear one and used it as my overnight lip treatment for probably six or eight months now. I actually alternate this lip balm with my Laneige lip sleeping mask. I go back and forth just so my lips don't get too used to one formula. I'm happy to have another tube of this because my tube that I'm using right now is running extremely, extremely low. And I'm definitely excited to use these two tinted ones again, going into the winter time. It'll be a nice way to keep your lips hydrated, looking glossy with a little tint of color. I am all for this. And then the final skincare related thing I purchased are of course my Shiseido facial cottons. I absolutely love these. I realized I was running low. So I went ahead and picked up five more packs. The Sephora sale is the perfect time to stock up. You get them a little bit at a discount and I don't know, this will last me like two and a half years. Oh, and in case you guys aren't familiar with the Shiseido facial cottons, I don't know why I just assume everybody knows about these, but these are just the best 
cotton pads to use on your face. These are the absolute softest cotton pads you will ever use on your face. I use these exclusively for my facial toner or if I'm using like Bioderma to remove some eye makeup or leftover eye makeup or anything, I will use these on my skin. They don't tug, they don't shed, they don't leave little lint pieces all over your skin. They're super, super soft. And most importantly, they don't over absorb the product you use on them. So for example, if you're using a nice toner or a nicer makeup remover you know how sometimes you'll put it on a generic cotton pad and it feels like all that makeup remover or all that toner is just sitting in the cotton and it's not really going on your face this cotton doesn't absorb your product it actually puts it on your skin so you're making more use of maybe the nicer skincare items you're using let's go ahead and jump into the fun stuff now I know the makeup is what you guys are waiting for so I picked up both of the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit palettes for this year. I talked about these in a recent holiday anti-haul video that I did. I'll link it down below where I actually talked about a lot of the newer releases that were coming out and whether I was going to buy them or not. These were two palettes that I was pretty sure I was going to buy at least one. I didn't realize I was going to buy both. I just went for it. Um, the packaging of both of them is gorgeous. Hourglass actually changed up the packaging on these palettes for the first time in a really, really long time. Normally, they come in like a shiny kind of plastic material. These are actually more of a matte metal. Of course, the marbling on the front is just absolutely stunning. This one here, the lighter one, is called the Ambient Lighting Edit Universe Palette. And then the deeper one here is called the Ambient Lighting Edit Universe Unlocked palette. Both of these palettes have a slightly different layout than ambient lighting palettes in the past. Instead, you've got four smaller powders and one larger pan here. The larger pan is what they call the finishing powder. This is the infinity powder. Then you've got a strobe blush, a bronzer, another blush, and then a strobe powder or a highlighter. This Ambient Lighting Edit Universe palette is actually the face palette I'm wearing on my skin right now. I've got the bronzer on, I've got the finishing powder on kind of under my eyes, I've got the highlighter on on top of my cheeks, and I'm using both blushes layered. I have the bottom kind of more mauve one all over my cheeks and the top more hot pink one right on the apples. So I used every single powder in here on my face. I was really, really curious to see if the lighter palette would work on my skin. And surprise, surprise, it actually does. The bronzer gave me a really, really decent contour. Obviously the highlight is popping, both blushes showed up, and I honestly have no complaints about this palette. I mean, yeah, the finishing powder is a little bit light. I just popped it right underneath my eyes over my concealer, and I don't think it was too light. I still think it gave a nice, really pretty brightened look without looking ashy. So I don't have any complaints with this palette. The darker palette is the one that I knew I wanted to purchase. I have not used this one yet, but my goodness, it is beautiful. Same exact layout with the finishing powder, the two blushes, the bronzer, and the strobe powder or highlighting powder. Just taking a side-by-side -side look at these two palettes, you can see the one over here is the lighter one, and then this one over here is the deeper one. I don't know if it's just because the one that's supposed to be lighter, I mean, those colors are marbled. So you really don't know what those blushes and the bronzer is actually going to look like when it's all mixed together. And shockingly, I mean, it all showed up on my skin tone. So that's one thing I have to say with the hourglass powders. Sometimes they look really light in the pan and you think that that will never show up on my skin. Why is hourglass releasing this? Sometimes you'll even take it and swatch it on the back of your hand and be like, that looks chalky, that looks ashy, no way, Jose. However, if you take it with a brush, blend it on your skin, and then take a look at the final appearance, a lot of times people are shocked that the colors they didn't expect would actually show up or give a punch or actually look good definitely can. I think that's one of my biggest things I would say about these hourglass powders is don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge some of these shades by just 
glancing in the pan. Sometimes you just gotta put it on and realize, dang, <laughs> that looks really good. And I am super, super happy. I mean, I have no complaints with my face color products today. Now that I'm looking at my pile of stuff, I realized I picked up a lot of face items, a lot of blush type things in general. Um, I purchased these two Clinique Cheek Pop Pearl blushes. These were the two items I purchased online because it said it was online only. They didn't have it in my stores. The Clinique Cheek Pop blushes are some of the OG blushes on the market. These were some of the first that really, really hit hard because they're cute, they're adorable, the formula is amazing. It kind of has that like powder gel -A formula that just glides on the skin and melts in and makes it look like your skin is just glowing. They don't look heavy. They don't look cakey. These are some of the best blushes on the market. I actually used to collect these and when Clinique released a whole shade range of them, I think back in the day I picked up all of them. This time when they released their kind of shimmer or pearly versions of them, I picked up the two that I thought would actually show up on my skin and these are the to that I gotta say they are kind of stunning over here we have topaz pop and over here we have ruby pop I mean ruby pop looks like a gorgeous winter blush this is a beautiful like Christmassy looking blush and topaz pop I mean that probably is just gonna be my daily wear blush. I told you I bought a lot of blushy type things. Uh, let's just keep it going. I picked up the Patrick Ta. This is the Major Headlines Blush Palette. This is the first thing I've ever purchased from Patrick Ta. I know that this is a brand that has been talked about so much on YouTube, but I have to say there really wasn't anything in the brand that I was super excited to try. I know his blushes, like his blush duos, in general have gotten a lot of hype but it wasn't until I saw this palette that I was like okay that seems like a good value that seems like something I want to try I just want to see if I like the formula at this point I'm just back to having fun with makeup I just want to play with it I just want to experiment I just want to see if I like it and just see how it compares to other things that I have and that I've used and this is is what this palette looks like. You might be able to tell up here that there is actually a little plastic cover and that's because the top three products are cream blushes and the bottom three are powder blushes. After getting this palette in person, I'm a little bit more weary of the color selection. I didn't realize how bright, especially these two shades right here were going to be. This is the type of shade, this kind of like muted plummy neutral this is the blush shade that's right in my wheelhouse this is the one I tend to gravitate towards the most however I'm definitely willing to give these a shot I'm so curious to see how this crazy pink magenta one is going to look on my skin but yeah I'm excited to be able to try these try his cream blush formula and the powder blush in these convenient little duos all in one palette I mean this is very very cute okay the last blush palette I promise um <laughs> Gosh, this is embarrassing. How many cheeks do you have, Ishani? Two. Do you use two different blushes every day? No. So you use one blush a day, and do you have your favorites? Yes. Why are you buying all these blush palettes? I don't know. But Pat McGrath came out with her blush formula in these little trio palettes for her holiday collection. This was another item I talked about in that last video I was talking about where I talked about makeup holiday launches and what I was interested in and what I wasn't. And this was a product that I was interested in. I actually thought I was going to get both of the color palettes that she had out. She has a lighter one and then a slightly deeper one. This is actually the lighter one of the two. This one is called the Divine Blush and Glow Trio in Galactic Sun. These are the three items you're getting. So you're getting the Divine Rose Blush, the Desert Orchid Blush, and the Golden Nectar Highlighter. When I saw the deeper palette, I knew that while the blushes would definitely show up on my skin because of their vibrancy, I knew those weren't necessarily the blush tones that I gravitated towards. So I decided to go ahead and get the lighter, more muted, neutral palette. This one has a beautiful mauve, a beautiful like neutral bronzy type shade, and then a gorgeous kind of golden highlighter. I've used a lot 
of Pat McGrath makeup. However, I've never tried her blush formula, so that is something that I'm really, really excited to experiment with. Continuing on with the Pat McGrath Holiday Collection, I also purchased her Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey eyeshadow palette. Okay, I have a lot to say with this eyeshadow palette. So this is the palette I am wearing on my eyes today. I think the eyeshadow look turned out really beautiful. I mean, Pat McGrath has a really, really beautiful eyeshadow formula. However, this palette, I have a similar gripe to as I did with her palette last year. The last year palette was laid out very similarly in terms of you are getting 15 shades in here. Sorry, you're getting 18 shades in here. So you're getting a really, really good selection of shades. Most of these shades are shimmery. You're only getting a very small handful of mattes in here. Most of them don't look unique. Most of them look like I have dupes in my collection. And for me, if I'm paying a Pat McGrath price, I need uniqueness. I need her gorgeous, beautiful, amazing, baked formula, that glitter formula that just pops. The formula that you look at someone's eyeshadow and you're like, oh my gosh, what do you have on? I've never seen something like that. That's what I wanted from this palette. And to me, the shade that gets the closest to that kind of look is this green down here. And that is the primary shade I have going across my eyelids. I did blend it with some of this darker chocolate shimmer here. And then I blended it out with this mid-tone matte and this deeper matte on the outer corners. And then I popped some of this lighter shimmer on the inner corners. So the only shadow I'm wearing are shadows from this palette. And while I do think you can get a full look just using this palette. I think the matte tones that she included are appropriate matte tones to get well-rounded looks. I still just, I'm not getting that warm and fuzzy feeling in my heart that Pat McGrath normally gives me. I don't know, I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but this one, I'm not in love. Speaking of the expensive Pat McGrath palettes, I did pick up one of those. I had swatched this gorgeous palette in stores quite a few months ago and I was waiting. I was waiting for that Sephora sale so I could get a discount on it and I'm so, so happy I finally have it. This is the Mothership 9. What's IX? That's 9, right? X is 10, IX is 9. It's been a while since I've used Roman numerals. Mothership IX, Qtopian Dream Palette. Oh. These are so pretty. So she only has three of her special shades. These are the three special shades that she has in here, which are her super gorgeous, glittering, just the most stunning, stunning eyeshadows. This one here, I assumed would be a special shade. And while it is special in its own right, it's not that special formula. This one is still a traditional powder, but it has a very, very strong duochrome shift to it. These two shades, actually these three shades are shimmery, and then these three are your mattes. So I don't think this is gonna be, you know, an all-inclusive palette for me. There's not a super dark matte, nor is there a light enough matte to use as a highlight, but oh my goodness, this palette is just beautiful. And especially these colors, I can't, can't get over this. I really, really wish that Pat McGrath would release more of these special shades in her quads. For the past few holiday seasons, while she does release quads, they're no longer that incredible formula that makes Pat McGrath unique. I wish the Pat McGrath holiday stuff had more of that unique formula and texture and just oomph, that oomph that I'm looking for when I'm paying these prices. All right, we've got just a couple more items. I picked up this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Kit. I picked it up in the shade Pillow Talk Medium because the Pillow Talk Medium Matte Revolution Lipstick has been on my Sephora wish list for well over a year now. Yeah, I just haven't bit the bullet and purchased it. But then I was browsing through the Charlotte Tilbury offerings and I saw that she came out with this $25 set and it's a mini 
lip liner and a mini lipstick in the coordinating shades. So this is the lip liner. This is her lip cheat reshape and resize lip liner. All right. Uh, this is in Pillow Talk Medium. And then you also get her Matte Revolution lipstick also in Pillow Talk Medium. Despite being minis, I don't think they're that small, especially the lipstick. I mean, yeah, it's a mini lipstick. You guys know what you're getting into when you purchase something like this. It's really freaking cute, but you don't need to use a lot of this. It's very pigmented. It's very opaque. It lasts a long time on your lips. So it's not like you're retouching your lips throughout the day, like 20 times. So yeah, even though it's a small, I mean, it's a mini lipstick. I still think this will last a while. This is the lip duo I'm wearing on my lips right now, by the way, I do have the lip liner on as well as the matte revolution lipstick. I've had this on for a couple hours now. It's very comfortable. It's very matte and lightweight, not drying at all. I really, really like this duo. Absolutely no complaints. She also has this set in the original Pillow Talk shade as well as the Pillow Talk Deep shade. So if you want the darker version or the lighter version, you can also get it for the same price in the same little sizes, which I think is really cool. The final makeup item I purchased is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I don't even know why I'm showing this to you guys because you've seen this a billion times over now, but I'm running a little low on my current Translucent Loose Setting Powder. So I figured I'd go ahead and re-up while I got a little bit of a discount because this is my go-to and every little tub of this actually lasts me almost two years. You're getting a ton of powder. It's my favorite powder. It makes your skin look so airbrushed. And to me, the translucent definitely is translucent. It doesn't leave a white cast on my skin or anything. I have it on my skin today. I use it to set my foundation all the time. And uh, yeah, I love it. So I picked up a new one of those. The final item I purchased in this haul video is a fragrance. You guys are probably looking at this little guy and thinking, that's a fragrance, Ishani? You just got this little roller ball? That's cute. Uh, no, this is actually a uh, fragrance. It is a roller ball size. It's only 0.25 ounces. It is an atomizer spray, which I think is awesome. I much prefer a spray over a roller ball. However, this is also a stupidly expensive perfume, which is why I uh, could only commit to the small size of it. This is the Love by Killian Don't Be Shy perfume. I purchased this sight unseen, or I guess smell unsmelled. Um, I hadn't smelled it before I bought it, but the reason I bought it is because I heard that this is Rihanna's perfume. This is apparently the only perfume she wears and everybody seems to say that Rihanna smells amazing and it smells very, very good. However, I don't know if it's worth the hype. To me, it almost smells like a caramel candy kind of sweet, a little fruity, very gourmand, really sexy. <coughs> okay, well, yeah, it's making me sneeze. I don't know if it's worth the hype. My go-to fragrance recently has been the stupidly expensive Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait Perfume. If you guys watched my perfume collection video that I did, um, I'll link it below if you guys haven't seen it. I went through and kind of discussed all my fragrances and I decluttered some and I was giving some backstories on some of them. But anyways, that Baccarat Rouge fragrance, I had semi-recently purchased it when I filmed that video and I even said it's the most expensive perfume I own, but it is very, very unique. And every time I wear it, I get compliments on it. And now it's kind of the scent that I kind of, I guess, associate with me. I guess it's turned into my signature perfume for you know, lack of a better phrase. So because I love that one so much, because I think it's so beautiful and unique and I always get compliments on it and I just love the scent overall, to me, it's worth the price. However, a full size bottle of this is very, very expensive as well. And I don't think it's quite as exciting to me. It's definitely not as unique in my opinion. While it smells very beautiful and very nice, I just, 
I'm not getting the feels like I do when I smell the Baccarat Rouge. Alrighty guys, that wraps up my Sephora VIB sale haul for this season. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below, what did you guys pick up from this sale? Are you skipping the sale this year? Are you getting a really small haul or did you get just a ton of stuff? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate your guys' love and support on my channel. It means the world to me. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you in my next video very, very soon. I'll see you then. Bye.